Hey, what's up guys? Hopefully everybody's doing very well. And what you just heard was a little chord melody arrangement for Bluesette. And Bluesette is a very nice little jazz tune written in 1962 by Toots Tielemans. And of course, his main instrument was the harmonica, but he was also a jazz guitarist. Hopefully this little arrangement will help you on your way to get into some chord melody playing. Let's go. Okay, so the intro has this ascending melody line and descending bass line thing, which is pretty cool. We start on the B minor 7, it's played like that. The low E is for the thumb and the first, second and third finger will do our D, G and B string. And the melody is played on the B string, which is the fifth. Then we go to B flat 7, 13. Then we go to A minor 7 and here you can try to introduce your pinky to the game. And try to play the melody which is on the high E with the pink. It's pretty hard, but if it doesn't work for you, you can also stick to the third, uh, stick to the three top strings and play it with the first, second, and third finger. If you play with four fingers, you can include your flat seven. Then we go to A flat seven thirteen, and now the nine is the melody it's on top then we go to B minor 7 again the tonic is the melody B flat 7 the 9 is the melody then we go to A minor 7 11 which is played like this or with three top strings as long as you play your A in the bass and then we end with this which is D7 flat 9 flat 13. Sounds like that with a D in the bass. It's just played like this. And then the song actually starts on this G, ma uh, G major 7. The melody is the fifth on the B string. And we will play this melody upwards. You can also play with the third, third finger. minus 7. You might say that E minus 7 is actually an inversion for G6. So we extend the melody into F sharp minus 7 flat 5. This flat 7 will go into the major third for B, B7. Then E minus 7 you can play it like this, you can also play it more fancy like that. Flat 7 will resolve into the major 3rd for A7. Then D minor 7, flat 7 will resolve into major 3 for, for G. And then we have C major 7. The major 7 will go into 6. You can play very nicely like this leave the rest hanging you can play something like this which is also C6 let me play 6 7 tonic 9 or 2nd into C minor 7 pretty cool then we go all the way up to C minor 7 like that Minor six. No, it's not six nine. It's minor six. Yeah. This minor six is actually an F nine dominant. It serves as a dominant, which will resolve into B flat. So we have B flat major seven. This is also B flat major seven. B flat major seven with a nine on top. Then we go to B minor 7, B minor 7, B minor 9, or B minor 6, which is actually a E flat 7 9, which will resolve into A flat major. 
So we have B flat minor 7, B flat minor 7, B flat minor 9, B flat minor 6. And then we are in the key of A flat. So we start on A flat major and we play the same thing as we would do as we did before. To F minor 7, which is an A flat 6 inversion. Then we get our A minor 7 from the intro. This is D7-9 with a 13 on top. And then the outro goes like this. It kind of reminds of the intro, which is as a descending bass line, but now the melody will hang in the air. The melody will stick to D. So we have B minor 7, B flat 7, now it's the major 3rd, A minor 7, 11, and then A flat 7, sharp 11. This is actually D7 with A flat in the bass, can you see? And if we have our, our flat 5th, that goes into the bass. You get a tritone substitute. Our final chord is our G major 7 again. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching and please feel free to leave a comment here below. Please take care, behave and we'll see each other soon.